Who are the people in your neighborhood? In your neighborhood? In your neighborhood? Who are the people in your neighborhood? That's The people that you meet each day. Thank you for watching Pot Talk with Chad Drew from Evergreen Apothecary. We are talking about pot here yeah, on Music are. Buzz Live Radio. <laughs> My name is Moose. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. This is Pot Talk Part 2. Part 2. On tonight's show, we got uh, Chicka Chad and we got Chris back there on the board. Chicka Chad. We've got Chicka Tim from Best Buds and we've got Alex from Hemp House in the house. Thank Hell you. yeah. Thank What's you. up, Alex? Not much, man. How's it going? Good, man. Thanks for good, joining good. us, man. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for, for having sure. me on. For sure. So uh, we should probably talk about the reason why we're um, all here, I suppose, now. Yes, right? sir. I've been so. wondering to know why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wondering the same thing, dude. <laughs> so, uh, so you guys are about to pull off uh, the first ever, uh, we're all about to, the uh, mm -hmm. Hemp House um, and, and its sponsors are about to pull off uh, the, the first scavenger hunt in Colorado in the cannabis industry. Yeah, scavenger yeah. hunt for let's, weed. Let's yeah. get the basic details on this because it's uh, it's it's almost too good to be true. I feel like it's it's very cool well, idea. So how it's gonna work, you know? Um, Brought to you by Hemp House, of course. Yeah, we have a lot of sponsors on board. We have Beeline Hempwick, Best Buds App, uh, Colorado Harvest Company, and Evergreen Apothecary, uh, V Syndicate. They make the grinder cards, mm -hmm. the little credit card grinder cards, and then uh, Open Vape just joined on. And uh, the way it's going to work is everybody's going to meet in Commons Park in Denver, downtown Denver. It's kind of off 16th Street Mall, if you know where that's at. And uh, from that point, they were going to get all the clues, and they're going to have to sign in, bring their ID and all of that, and verify age because you have to be 21. Anyways, For sure. You know? And uh, they're going to go around town and pick up the clues and get a little items and whatnot. And then by the last clue, they'll know where the end party is. And that's where they're going to get all their prizes. So we're going to give away 24 eighth gift cards for Colorado Harvest Company and Evergreen Apothecary, uh, Best Buds app books, um, Pioneers of Legalization, and uh, Best Buds shirts, a lot of hemp wick and uh, open products such, such as uh, Go Pins and other little things like that. And awesome. So it's going to be really fun. We're giving out over $1,500 in product. So it's going to be a really cool event. We're expecting anywhere from like 500 to 1,000 people. So, And so, I mean, this is awesome. Dude, so how cool. with the with the with the actual scavenger hunt, are they people going to be driving around town finding stuff, or is it all kind of central downtown area? So the way we want to do it is kind of uh, set it up to where they don't have to drive around town, and the only time they'll have to drive is to the event and to our party. Okay. So that way, you know, they can walk. It's going to be centralized in downtown Denver, where all okay, the clues cool. are going to be hidden. We're going to have people at those locations. Sounds much safer that way. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> those yeah. roads are already jacked up enough, yeah. but yeah. to have a bunch of people speed around, like, I got to get the weed, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be pretty fun, man. We're, we're going to have the live music, I think. Um, I guess I can't name off any of the people that are going to be uh, playing, but it's going to be a really cool, it's super secret party. Yeah, for sure. The yeah. party sounds great. So, so just to reiterate, first and foremost, I know that uh, I know that uh, one of the biggest challenges of it was that there was word that there was going to be free weed given away at the end. But yeah. Obviously, everybody knows that that's not how it can happen. Yeah, so, I mean... It's yeah. illegal. Yeah. yeah. So there <laughs> will be no weed given away at this party. No, but no, no. Everything that there, everything that you do get to get is weed related, weed helping, weed assisting. Yeah. So I mean, we can't give away actual weed because that would be illegal, but we can give away gift cards for weed. So uh, you know, you're gonna either get an eighth gift card or a joint gift card. So everybody's gonna leave a winner. You know, that's the whole plan that everybody gets something. Okay, and if somebody wants to register, is it too late to do so, and where can they do so? No, so uh, people can uh, RSVP, you know, it's an RSVP event only, and uh, there's a plus one for each person that uh, kind of RSVPs. That's the site, right? Uh, yes, it's going to be on hemphouseclothing.com. Yep, you got it. <laughs> so it's going to be uh, hemphouseclothing.com slash nug-hunt. I'm sure if you uh, 
kind of do a little search and you can find something. Yeah, it's pretty viral. Very yeah. much so. Very, very user friendly as well. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> and how did the idea for this whole thing come to be? Well, to be honest, um, <laughs> I was <laughs> no lie to us. Uh, it's yeah. okay. You can lie. To <laughs> <you>. No. <laughs> I was I was going to the bathroom in a coffee shop and I saw a hole in the wall and I was like, it would be really cool to hide a gift card in this hole and then like tweet about it or something. And then it was just like epiphany. I was like, whoa, a scavenger hunt. And then like, cool. I jumped on my computer and just started typing away. So you were doing a number two? Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah awesome. I had some time to think, you know. <laughs> Very <God>. cool. <laughs> well, and everybody would probably know if you've tuned in to, to Music Buzz Live Radio and Pot Talk, Alex was actually our first guest. He um, was. Back in yep. the back. That was With, a couple months ago now. Yeah, right? For sure. It's been a, a tad bit. And he was talking about Hemp House, which was kind of... Uh, had generated so much uh, publicity because of the gift card for a penny. Mm -hmm. um, and dude, being over there at the shop, I have seen so many of these damn things come in. It's amazing to me. Yeah. There's a penny, and you just come in and you get a whole damn. It's like the best weed ever for a, a penny. How much? We, oh, you get an eighth, man, which is usually anywhere between thirty and seventy dollars. And weren't some so. publications <laughs> writing about that as well? Yeah. So. Um, I mean, it would take, we would be here for a while, but it would be like uh, High Times, Cannabis, Daily Chronic, Examiner, um, wow. News Channel 7, countless publications in South America, Poland. Um, man, I, it, it just really goes on and on. You know, Marijuana.com, which is a side publication of Weed Maps. Mm -hmm, and you know, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a lot of publications that have posted about it. So it's really, it's really cool, you know. Um, Love Hemp House. You guys have some cool-ass stuff anyway. Yeah, so. you know, it's just uh, we try to do interesting things, you know. For sure. <laughs> and now we got now we got Tim aboard. So how yeah. did you? What do you think about this, man? Well, I mean, me and Alex. I mean, really, we just kind of been boys for a while now. Because obviously, he used to work for Evergreen and Colorado sure. Harvest. So, yeah. really, like the first day I came in to take pictures, we just kind of started chatting about photography and stuff, and just kind of stayed in contact ever since. And then obviously, the hemp house took off, and he's talking about the whole nug hunt and i was trying to figure out a way to get involved and the books kind of were a perfect little thing for a giveaway for a scavenger hunt yeah. so it just kind of worked out pretty well and then hopefully we want we were hoping to use the map the map for the that we have mm -hmm. for the nug hunt but couldn't, maybe couldn't really pull that together yeah. in time. maybe not this round but obviously we've in talked future. about future ones yeah so are you guys planning on doing this like once a year, once so every two years. We're trying to do it uh, in Denver at least four times a year. Cool. But we've been in talks about doing it in Vancouver and in Washington. And um, for the next one, it's going to be on 420, uh, 420, 421, 418. That's still up in the air. But uh, I know Best Buds is going to be involved a lot more in the next one because we'll have a little bit more time to play around and plan things. And there's going to be a lot more bigger sponsors behind the next one. Very cool. Yeah. That sounds awesome. A lot more weed given away, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's another big thing. There's going to be a lot more. A lot that's more awesome. Gift cards. Hell yeah. It's, it's awesome to see something so, uh, so, you know, taboo in the rest of the world. Uh, to be able to do something like this in a public forum, to be able to be like, yo, check this out. Like, we want to throw a party. Yeah. Come get some weed. Come check out these people. Much yeah, more crazy. interactive than, like, say, the Cannabis Cup, which we're all going to be at anyway. But um, it's always nice to see some good businesses that take the the cool approaches now that it's societal, you know? Yeah, yeah the right. entrepreneurship has just been amazing to watch. For sure. And, and, and I know Alex, if he's befriended you, I, and I've followed – best buds a lot and especially in the last you know six months to nine months after all the craziness went away a little right, bit right, you right, know? Right. and uh just to see you know being in the forefront of all this how, like how do you guys see this next year going i'll let you take that one dude i mean <laughs> i mean i'm i'm expecting bigger things i mean at least for us i mean hopefully we can start expanding into some different other states i mean colorado's our home base we want to just continue to do this but uh but, I mean, improving that technology, and, I mean, as far as everybody else, I mean, the, like you said, the acceptance is there, you know. Mm -hmm. Societally, everybody's getting on board with it. So, I mean, that's huge for the perception of everything being okay, you know. So, I mean, I expect nothing more, nothing better than big things, you know. Right. Do you guys think that your uh, parts of the industry uh, are threatened to be bought out by bigger names, like they say, with the dispensaries? <sighs> I mean, I hope not. <laughs> I'd like to. I'd like to keep it just just with the small guys, and then make us big guys, you know, down sure. the road. Um, but I think Colorado's got that idea too. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, totally. And that's so. always going to be a threat, you know, um, from bigger corporations coming in and doing stuff. But really, people know. People pick who they pick, you know. So if they right. see it, if they see a major corporation coming in, most of the time they're going to be like, "Well, eh, it's a little iffy," because that's just how the pot world works, you know. 
it's not really one of those like what the, the, a Walmart of weed is not really gonna work. Yeah, right. right. You know, for sure. So, I, and I and that always yeah. goes based back to you know what you're growing, what you're doing, who the who mm-hmm. the core team is too. Right. And I and I've always giggled at that you know uh, notion, or I guess old wives' tale in a way that they're gonna get bought out by big ones, especially, you know, the ones that are directly growing the bud, even Mm -hmm. at that. But um, I know that there will be that possibility there. But I think that the free spirit, the free mind, the entrepreneurship that's been taken off. I mean, I know you guys probably get consult, you know, asked to be a a consultant by to other states and stuff. Am I right? Every now and again, I mean, it's it's something that's, you know, we get approached about, but I mean, it's few and far between, to be honest with you. I mean, kind of focus on what we're doing. For so sure. I think people know that, but... but Very cool. Yeah. Making some connections in Washington. Yeah, right? exactly. I mean, like, working in the shop, I mean, you get it all day, people calling from other states or emails about some business they're wanting to start in another state, you know, two years before medical even comes to be a part of their state and stuff mm-hmm. like that, you know. Earlier in the year, I would see people from New Jersey come in and, you right. know, all these in big-time investor people wanting to know information because there's nowhere really for them to get that information, you know, of how to grow and, you know, and right. the, the loopholes you got to jump through and all this stuff, you know. So, I mean, working in a dispensary, I've seen that, but outside of a dispensary, you don't really see too many people approaching is it still fairly taboo on the outside in a, in a way? Or do you, I mean, do you find a little bit more of a comfort coming around? I mean, a little bit, but yeah, I mean, people are coming around. I would say, yeah, right. I mean, more more or less. I mean, at least from a technology standpoint, it's just people not necessarily from a consulting, but like a, just an investment standpoint. I mean, tons of money is being thrown around. Obviously, you guys know that from right. like a, people pouring money into grows, people pouring money into dispensaries, and the same things happen on the tech side. Right. You know, so I mean, that's that's kind of like the most interesting thing that I've kind of when you across. call when you call, when you make those calls when you make those connections out of state. Do you still get that giggle? Like, <laughs> oh yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's funny. That's awesome. Well, we definitely appreciate you guys coming by tonight. So, uh, so the Nug Hunt is going to be this Saturday, seventeenth. Seventeenth. And where can you register one more time? Uh, HempHouseClothing.com slash Nug Hunt. If you just go to uh, Hemp House Clothing, you'll find it. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Well, we want to thank you guys for coming down. Yeah, thank thanks you. for having yeah, us. Awesome. And Best Buds, of course. BestBudsApp.com. <laughs> Check them out as well. Hit Download them up it. on the iTunes App Store. Get the free app and find your best bud. For sure. This is Music Buzz Live Radio. We'll be right back with our uh, scheduled weekly segments, Motel Minute, Band Ooh. Together, and Hack It or Axe It. Motel well, girls are coming on in just a minute, so stick around. This is World Viral. World Viral. World Viral. Do you want to experience the new phenomenon in Denver? The cannabis industry is alive and growing, and the best shop for your marijuana experience is Evergreen Apothecary. As seen on CNN, CNBC, CBS, and the Today Show, Evergreen Apothecary is slowly becoming the nation's go-to marijuana shop. Featured in the Denver Magazine 5280, Evergreen Apothecary, the corner store of the new Green Mile, features top quality marijuana available for medical and recreational purchase. Consistency is a key, and you will find it here. Available now, smokables, edibles, concentrates, and drinkables, along with the world-renowned Open Vape. Located on South Broadway in Iowa, the best shop in town is ready to educate and provide the exact marijuana product to fill your needs. Mention World Viral TV and receive an additional 10% off your entire order. Call us at 720-722-1227 or go to evergreenapothecary.com for more information. Evergreen Apothecary, the finest medical and recreational cannabis center in Denver. Evergreen Apothecary. Herman's Hideaway, on the corner of Iowa and Broadway, your favorite independent anti-corporate venue, featuring Westward's best patio. Now serving award-winning food, from metal to jazz to hip-hop, Herman's Hideaway has something for everyone. And if you want to book your act at Herman's Hideaway, email booking at hermanshideaway.com or call 303-777-2535. There's only one venue, family owned and operated for over 50 years. Holding it down in Denver. Go to hermanshideaway.com for more information and show listings.